Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is morning prayer for Saturday, September the 24th, 2011. It's week five in the Psalm cycle, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 90, and 2 Kings chapter 11, verse 1 through 20, and the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. <laughs> Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O Most High, you have been our refuge. Alleluia. Psalm 90. O Most High, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn us back into dust and say, Go back, children of the earth. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep us away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up in flowers, and by evening it withers and fades. And so we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in, in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, and our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Most high, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction, for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants, and let your glory shine on their children. Let your favor be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O Most High, you have been our refuge. Alleluia. The lesson is from the second book of Kings, chapter 11 beginning at verse 1. Now when Athaliah, Ahaziah's mother, saw that her son was dead, she set about to destroy all the royal family. But Jehosheba, King Joram's daughter, Ahaziah's sister, took Joash, son of Ahaziah, and stole him away from among the king's children who were about to be killed. She put him and his nurse in a bedroom. And thus she hid him from Athaliah, so that he was not killed. He remained with her six years, hidden in the house of Yahweh, while Athaliah reigned over the land. But in the seventh year, Jehoiada summoned the captains of the Kerites and the guards, and had them come to him in the house of Yahweh. <clears throat> he made a covenant with them, and put them under oath in the house of Yahweh. And then he showed them the king's son, and he commanded them, This is what you are to do. One third of you, those who go off duty on the Sabbath and guard the king's house, another third being at the gate, sir, and a third at the gate behind the guards, shall guard the palace, and your two divisions that come on duty in force on the Sabbath and guard the house of Yahweh shall surround the king each with weapons in hand, and whoever approaches the ranks is to be killed. Be with the king in his comings and goings. And the captains did according to all that the priest Jehoiada commanded. Each brought his men who were going to go off duty on the Sabbath with those who were to come on duty on the Sabbath, and came to the priest Jehoiada. And the priest delivered to the captains the spears and shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of Yahweh. And the guards stood, every man with his weapons in his hands, from the south side of the house to the north side of the house, around the altar and the house, to guard the king on every side. 
And then he brought out the king's son, and put the crown on him, and gave him the covenant. They proclaimed him king, and anointed him. They clapped their hands, and shouted, Long live the king. When Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and of the people, she went into the house of Yahweh to the people. And when she looked, there was the king standing by the pillar, according to custom, with the captains and the trumpeters beside the king, and all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Athaliah tore her clothes and cried, Treason, treason! And then the priest Jehoiada commanded the captains who were set over the army, Bring her out between the ranks, and kill with the sword anyone who follows her. For the priest said, Let her not be killed in the house of Yahweh. So they laid hands on her, and she went through the horse's entrance to the king's house, and there she was put to death. And Jehoiada made a covenant between Yahweh and the king and people, that they should be Yahweh's people, also between the king and the people. And then all the people of the land went to the house of Baal, and tore it down, his altars and his images they broke into pieces. And they killed Matan, the priest of Baal, before the altars. And the priest posted guards over the house of Yahweh. And he took the captains, the Karites, the guards, and all the people of the land. Then they brought the king down from the house of Yahweh, marching through the gate of the guards to the king's house. And he took his seat on the throne of the kings. So all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was quiet after Athaliah had been killed with the sword at the king's house. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church, that it may be filled with truth and love. For Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders, and for all the holy people of God. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and we may all be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among peoples and nations. For the unemployed, especially Robert. For a cure for cancer. For the aged and the infirm, especially Ronald Francis and Marjorie. For the incarcerated, especially Christian. For those who grieve, especially Chris and Joe and Dan. For those who died, especially Philip, Stephen, Michael, and Wayne. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Blessed are you, O God of Israel, You've come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old you would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before God to prepare the way. 
to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You've come to your people and set us free. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.